Today on Geek Devotions, we're talking about being humble and not being like Raphael. Hello, devoted geeks, and welcome to Geek Devotions, a show from a couple devoted geeks who are devoted to letting people know that they are loved. I'm Dallas, and with me is... Celeste! And we're so glad you hit the play button. Do us a favor, if you like today's content, make sure you hit the like button, and consider subscribing to our channel, because we put out content every Friday, and every Tuesday, and every Sunday. That's a lot of stuff, but it's good stuff. We try to make it good anyway. <laughs> Also, want to encourage you guys to stick around to the end of the episode because there's some really cool announcements about the Streetport Bossier City Anime Festival and GeekCon in Season 3 of Geek Devotions. But that being said, let's get into today's content. As you guys know, it is our summer serial event and it is coming to a close in just a couple of weeks. All month long, we are covering 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And guys, it is awesome. She's singing. <laughs> I am reliving my childhood with these movies. It's been a blast. Last week, Celeste gave you guys a great devotional based off the one from 1990. And guys, I want to encourage you, if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's in the card up in the corner. Also, links will be in the description down below. Today, we're looking at Teenage Mutant Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. This movie picks up right after the last one. Probably a few weeks, and there's some changes. So the costumes have changed. April O'Neil has changed, strangely enough. And the the Turtles have been living with April, and it's come time for them to move out because four teenagers and a random old rat don't really mix well for, you know, city living in New York City. That's a big pet deposit. <laughs> in the midst of the Turtles trying to find a new life post uh, Foot Clan fights and post death of the Shredder, lo and behold, the death didn't really take too well with the Shredder, and he's back with the Foot Clan, and this time he's got two angry monsters with him. It's kind of scary. <laughs> so while the turtles are trying to navigate what to do with the Shredder, they've got to find a new home. They've got to get out of April's space and, and establish their own place. And so they're on a hunt through the sewers looking for a new place uh, because they were, they were told to. They're obeying Master Splinter's directions because, why? They're good disciples. How do we know that? Check out her devotion from last week. But anyways... <laughs> but anyways, so... Um, in the midst of it, though, there's this really awkward argument conversation in the midst of things. Um, Raphael completely disagrees with the stance of what's happening. He thinks they need to be out there looking for the Foot Clan and, and, and putting them to, to finish, to put them to rest. But the Turtles are like, look, we were told, we were given commandment by Pat Master Splitter to go out and find a new home for us to, to set up shop, and then we'll go do that. And in the midst of the argument, well... Raph's pride got in the way, and he took off without his brothers, trying to make his own way, doing what he thought was right in his own eyes. Pride literally welled up inside of him. So what happens to Raph? Well, he gets captured, and he's used as bait to capture the rest of the turtles. So what do the turtles do? Well, they go out to find their brother, because that's what brothers do. See, Raph's pride caused issues. But something interesting happened. The turtles show up, and they walk into the into the uh, the trap, the ambush, and it looks bad for them. They're captured and all kinds of crazy stuff. And Master Splinter shows up. They're like, "We came with insurance, dude." <laughs> they brought uh, a Splinter to just help them out in the tight bond. They knew that they were going to need help. They asked him. They sought us like, "Hey, we're not too prideful to ask for help. We need you to come with us, Master Splinter." And he did, like any good father does. <laughs> And all this reminds me of a verse in Proverbs. Proverbs 29 verse 23 says this, One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. I feel like this verse matches perfectly with the current situation of the turtles in that particular portion of the movie. See, Raph's pride brought him really low. He was tied up. He was taped over his mouth, and it was a bad situation. That's and a lot of tape for such a big mouth. It was just a big stretch. Big, big piece of duct tape. But, they, but the, those mouths and those suits are very big. <laughs> they are. But anyways, so, but he was end up being used for the sake of the enemy. And that's what happens when we allow pride to wall up inside of us, and we think we're going to do our own thing because... Because we're prideful, <laughs> we sometimes end up being used by the enemy for his own devices. But the flip side of things is this, that 
the person who is humble, who is lowly, they will be honored. They will have honor in what they do. And that's exactly what happens. The, the brothers, they show up and because they are humble, they got the help they needed. They were willing to ask for help. They realized that they were walking into a situation that was too big for them. And they asked for help from their leader, from, from someone that cared about them, that had been had literally watched over them all their lives. <laughs> and sometimes you don't even necessarily have to ask for help. Like, mm -hmm. I've heard quite a bit of pride going on when people brag about video games. Oh. I've heard quite a bit of pride going on specifically about Fortnite recently, not oh. necessarily you, but oh. people in general. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was about to call me out for something. No, 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 no. <laughs> when you use the term human meat shield, I'm pretty sure there's not pride in that. That's pretty much my role in any Fortnite game. <laughs> but I have, in these discussions, I've heard people that are very prideful. Yeah. And while that's that's fairly harmless right. to be prideful about a video game, and sure. you should be proud if you're good at it. <laughs> but not if you're a meat shield like me. <laughs> get better, then be proud. But you almost have to wonder if they take it to that extreme pride over something like Fortnite. What are they like about things in real life? Yeah, it's just all. So even you know when you're next time you're playing a video game or doing something, check yourself and go, am I proud because I'm doing this well, or am, am I over proud? <laughs> yeah. There's two types of pride. There are. <laughs> and so that's the thing you gotta work on. And see the, the, the three brothers, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Leonardo, they were like, we could go win guns blazing? Or, or sorry, not guns blazing because they weren't allowed to use weapons in this movie. Thank we you, don't get group. <laughs> But they didn't. They were like, let's ask for help from somebody that knows better that can help us through the situation and so and if the turtles had gone in and been able to handle it by themselves i feel very sure that splinter would have been like y'all got this <laughs> you might have <laughs> so but that that's the thing is but they they still consulted him yeah they asked for his wisdom and so with you guys wherever you're at with your life maybe there's a situation that rose up don't allow pride to stick in and go hey you can handle this do anybody's help we all need help at some point we all need somebody to stand in the gap for us and walk us through things. And, and sometimes there's people in our lives that can see the blind spots that go, hey, this isn't a good idea. We should do X, Y, Z. See, if Raph had waited for his brothers, they could have made a plan and this whole thing would have not happened. Yeah. <laughs> but he just went in there and, and did his own thing and ended up in a bad situation. And so what's, what's your situation? What have you walked through recently that you maybe you saw the bad things happen? Or what are you about to walk through that maybe you need some wisdom? There are people in your lives that you can go to. They're your pastors. Maybe they're your parents. Maybe they're, they're a brother or sister in Christ who's a little more mature than you. Go to them. Ask them for help. Ask them to, to guide you and lead you through it. If they're a godly leader, they will. They won't just send you out to the wolves to get eaten up on your own. They'll walk you through it. They'll help you out. Yeah, they'll, they'll shove you a little bit. But they're not going to let you fall and, and just die on, on a vine. <laughs> So that's your devotion, guys. Think about things before you run into them. Don't let pride overcome you and end up tied up like Raph and, and being used by the enemy. Because that does happen sometimes. Sometimes when we allow pride to, to well up inside of us, we end up hurting other people around us. And that's never a good thing. I've, I've seen that many times where people have been prideful and because they were too prideful to ask for help. I've hurt those who they cared about the most in really big ways. So don't let that happen to you. Well, guys, that was your devotion for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope it encouraged you and challenged you. Do us a favor. Leave comments down below and let us know your thoughts on it. That being said, it's time for our question of the week. The week. And your question is simply this. In the movie, we saw several mutations happen. Uh, Shredder mutated a snapping turtle and a baby wolf. They were cute little animals and they got really weird and creepy, but then they went back to cute things. <laughs> but later, Shredder himself became mutated. And so my question is, if you could be mutated with something else, you could be gene spliced with anything else, what would it be and why? Like, what would be the benefit of gene splicing with that creature? Let us know. Leave comments down below. That being said, it's now time for Announcements. So the first bit of news we have for you guys is that on July 21st, Celeste and I 
will be at Shreveport Bossier City Anime Fest. And we are super excited about it. And uh, we hope to see some of you guys there. If you see us, come by, say hi. Uh, we're going to try to do a little bit of recording and a couple other things. Uh, we're going to be limited and we'll find out, tell you guys why here in a little bit. But we're going to be there for, for a little bit and we want to hang out with you guys and say hi and, and, and maybe take a picture with you because you're cool. <laughs> And if you're a cosplayer, we would definitely want to say hi to you. <laughs> yes. Our next announcement is that we are going to be doing a Devoted Geek together on the 28th of this month. Yes, we're July. Su- yeah, July. <laughs> we're super excited about this. Um, we're going to be at CeCe's Coffee House on Ellerby Road. If you live somewhere where you know where Ellerby Road in Shreveport is, come on by. We'll be there for about an hour. Yeah, it's in front of the Kroger. It's really cool. And it's just going to hang out, get some coffee, chit-chat, maybe play a card game if you have a card game you want to play with us. Or Again, it's just to hang out and do yeah. community together. And CeCe's is okay with us being there. They said if we get enough people, they may bring samples. Yes. <laughs> and they have really good coffee, so it's a plus. True story. Love that number 22 espresso. <laughs> All right, so the last bit of announcements for this. We are going to be at GeekCon 2018. Super excited, super pumped. We'll be there all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will be doing another Devoted Geek Together during that event. We're not sure exactly on the timing for it yet, but we are doing that, and we hope to see you guys there. Our final announcement, though, sadly enough, is this. Um, The videos and the audio for things are going to be a little different for the next couple weeks after this video. Because we're having to send off our laptop to get some repairs. There's a problem with the screen or something. And and hopefully the the company that uh, built our laptop can fix it and get us the equipment back to us quickly. Uh, So we apologize about that. Um, so we're going to be, we're going to be, it's going to be, um, a little strained. Uh, we're going to have to do some, some, uh, creative things to make things happen the way we need to happen and work around some schedule changes. So sorry about that guys. Sorry about the drop in some quality that may be happening. Uh, we are doing our best to make things work. Um, hopefully though, we'll be on schedule for the, uh, season three celebration that we're going to be doing. Uh, we're super excited about it. I hope you guys are. <laughs> and we can't wait to uh, to announce some really cool things during that. So that's pretty much all we have for you guys. Uh, make sure you check out geekdevotions.com. Check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just look for Geek Devotions. Uh, if you want to be part of more of the stuff that we do, check out Devoted Geek Life. That is our Facebook community group. And... Uh, there's some really cool individuals. We've had some really great conversations the last couple of weeks and, we and um, just some really cool things have been happening in the group. So go in there, check it out. Great group of individuals are there. So I think that's it. Okay. Well, stay devoted. Peace and love, guys. <laughs>